So you got yourself a crucible, but then you realize, how am I going to pick it up? You need something like these guys, and some kind of grabbers like these. I mean, you could go and try to pick it up with your bare hands like this, as it's in the fire, to go and pour your mold. But you might end up burning yourself. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make something like this in order to help you in your brand new foundry. On fire. So we start by cutting a slit into an old steel bar. You'll see why in just a second. For this design of tongs, we bought three steel bars, each three feet in length. The thickness of the bar will depend on how big your crucible is. The bigger your crucible, the thicker your bar should be. Try to choose something appropriate for your crucible. If you don't have an old steel bar laying around, you can use an old pipe, or if you're really strong, then a pair of vice grips. All the measurements for the tongs will depend on the size of your crucible. We then locked one of the steel bars two inches above the center into the vise. We then placed the steel bar with a slit in 10 inches above the center and turned 90 degrees. The bar will try to fight you, so you may have to encourage it a bit. Next, we drilled a hole in the bar one inch above the center. We did this for both the bars. As you can see, we clamped both bars together and drilled through both at the same time. We are using quarter inch bolts. We then temporarily attached both pieces together in order to figure out where to bend the bar straight. We then bent the bar at a reasonable spot relative to our crucible. Next, we are going to bend the two C-shaped jaws for the end of the tongs. We opened the vise just a bit so the bar would fit into it and we began to bend. This process is a lot of trial and error and it takes a bit of time to get right, but with a little persistence you can do it. Then we marked where we want to cut it and began to cut. Enjoy the little cutting montage I put together for you. Then we measured the center of each C-shaped jaw and drilled each hole.
We also drilled the holes into the tongs themselves too. Then we temporarily put it together. I'll go into more detail closer to the end of the video about putting it all together. With the remaining leftover steel bar, we measured a piece a little larger than the lip of the crucible. You will see what this is for in just a bit. We secured it into the vise at the line we measured it and bent it 90 degrees. I gave it a little starting encouragement before we got out the hammer. Now we measure where to cut it off. After we cut it off, we measure where to drill the hole into the 90 degree bent bar. Drill the hole, attach it and do a test. It seems pretty secure. Now for the handle. I decided to go with the super easy implementation since it's just crucible tongs, but you guys can go nuts on the handle. I love to see the handles you come up with. I measured a little larger than my hand for each handle and then cut off both of the handles. Next I secured the handle into the vise and I drew a line down the center and began to cut. As you can see, I cut the handle really straight. It's not crooked at all. It looks good. Now I did a little bit of touch up sanding. After that, I clamped the handle and the tongs together and drilled three holes the same size as my copper rivets. The copper rivet is just some old electrical wire that I had 
laying around getting oxidized. I cut three pieces for each handle a bit larger than the total thickness of the handle. Then after that I filed down the cut marks. Then I did a test fit just to make sure I did not make any mistakes. It looks good. Now I grabbed each rivet and bent it 90 degrees at the tip. I inserted the rivet into the handle and smashed it down. I did this on both sides. In hindsight, it probably would have looked better if I smashed the rivet pointing straight down instead of at the side, but that's what you got. So that's one rivet down, five left to go. Now for some final sanding. Alright, now for the final assembly. For this we have 3 quarter inch bolts, 3 washers, and 6 nuts. You'll see why we have twice as many nuts in just a bit. Right, so we place the washer in between the bar and put our first nut. We are going to tighten the first nut as tight as we like and then add the second nut to lock the first one in place. This way the tongs will never get loose. I gave it a test to see if I liked the tightness and then proceeded to add the second nut. And there we go. Now we did this same thing for both of the C-shaped jaws. Now let's test it. Looks like it's working great. Since these are modular tongs, you can use them for both pouring and picking up the crucible. And there you go, super easy tongs for your crucible. So now you know how to make something like this in order to help you in your brand new foundry. Tell me in the comments below about your new foundry, about your process, maybe some improvements that I could make on my design. And if you really like this video, you can hit like, you can get subscribed, and I'll see you in the next video.